Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is Uday Pandit and you are watching MEP Technical World. In this video, we will learn about basically how to size the thermal overload relay. Okay, it's sizing and selection. So before I start the session, I would like to request you if you are not yet subscribe my channel, please subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon so you will get notification regarding my upcoming videos. So let's get started. So here we are going to select the thermal overload relay size for this AHU starter okay so this is the AHU unit so for this we are going to size the thermal overload relay in previous video we have already discussed about basically how to calculate the size of MCB and contactor okay so if you are not watched that video I have given the link for that video in this description box so please check out this video so in this video we will only focus on this thermal overload relay okay so for that we have some steps for sizing thermal overload relay so these are in first step we have to take the motor size okay or pump size and second step we have to calculate the FLC of the motor means full load current of the motor then in step 3 subtract 20% current from the above full load current to find the lower range of the relay rating okay then step 4 add 20 percent current to above calculated full load current to find the higher range value to find the higher end value of the relay we have to add 20 percent current of this full load current okay so basically relay is our thermal overload relay is always found in range current range like a 5 to 10 amperes like a 2 to 4 amperes so it always find in range so it doesn't have a like a fixed value like a 10 ampere 20 ampere like this it always have a range some range like lower range and higher range okay that's why we have to select the so we have to calculate the lower range value as well as higher range value okay and in step 5 what we have to do select the thermal overload relay as per available in market as per calculated value we may not find in the market that's why as per market we have to select the select the thermal overload relay size okay so now let's follow this step to find the thermal overload relay rating okay so in a step one motor size is 5 hp which is now converted to watt so 1 hp equal to 746 watt that's why 5 into 746 becomes 3730 watt so this is the motor wattage okay now according to this wattage we have to cal calculate the current full load current in a step 2 so for that this is the power of this motor and as you know that this is the formula for three phase power calculation so p equal to root 3 into v into i into cos 5 and efficiency of the motor okay so this is the voltage and this is the current full load current and this is the power factor and this is the efficiency now here we have to calculate the current so current equal to p divided by root 3 v into power factor into efficiency now let's put the value of power so power is 3730 kilowatt and root 3 value is 1.732 into voltage is 415 volt and power factor is 0 0.8 and efficiency is 90 percent that's why uh, we have taken in in decimal 0 0.90 okay if we calculate all this it become 7.20 ampere okay so this is our full load current of this motor size okay so this is our FLC current means full load current now in step 3 what we have to do we have to find the lower range value of overload relay okay so for that what we have to do we have to subtract the 20% current from above calculated full load current okay so so this is our full load current 7.20 ampere now let's calculate 20% of this so 20% of FLC is 7.20 into 0 0.2 which is at 20 divided by 100 okay then finally it become after multiplying between 7.20 into 0 0.2 it become uh, 1.44 ampere okay now what we have to do now this value uh, this is the actually 20% of FLC 
Now to find the lower range of relay value what we have to do we have to subtract this value from this FLC okay so full load current minus this one value which is 20% of this value okay so it become 7.20 minus 1.44 now this become 5.76 so this is the lower range value okay of the relay okay now in a step 3 we have calculated lower range value of relay okay now in a step 4 what we have to do we have to calculate the higher range value of this relay so what we have to do we have to add 20% current to above calculated value so similarly as we have done in step 3 so this is our full load current 7.20 now 20 percent of flc is 1.44 ampere so now to find the uh, high range value of relay actually what we have to do we have to uh, add the this value 20 percent of flc to above full load current so 7.20 plus 1.44 now it become 8.64 ampere so this is the high range value of of this relay okay now now here what we found lower range of relay value is 5.76 ampere and higher range of relay value is 8.64 ampere so this is our range so final calculated thermal overload relay rating is 5.76 to 8.64 range so this is our calculated range of thermal overload relay for above 5 sp motor okay now we may not find the exact value of of this in mark so so this is the thermal overload relay sizing table we can say so here from 0 0.1 to 0 0.16 ampere up to 400 to 330 ampere range uh, are available in markets so the this is depends upon the manufacturer company okay so we can go to uh, this catalog and we can find the uh, actual size of thermal lo overload relay okay so which is actually fine in mark so if we see over here we have to match around this in this table where is it so this this is the range five point lower range and higher nine so this this range is actually matches with this value so finally we go for this size value okay so purpose thermal overload relay size is 5.5 to 9 ampere range okay so here finally we have selected for thermal overload relay so this is the value for this is the size for thermal overload relay okay so hope you guys understand about how to basically how to select the thermal overload relay by following these five steps okay so thank you for watching this video please like share comments and subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you'll get notification regarding my upcoming videos so thank you very much see you again in next video